What you need for the project is parchment paper, Mod Pod, a foam brush, glitter, clear nail polish, tape, and your charger. The first thing you want to do is tape anything off that you don't want to get Mod Pod or glitter on. And I also suggest knowing where the end of the tape is so it's easier to take off once your project is complete. With the cord, I suggest doing the top and the bottom portion of it. Whatever it is you don't want to get Mod Pod on is where I would suggest to put tape on just to play it safe. Once you've taped everything off, you want to go ahead and get the Mod Pod and your brush out and you want to do thin even layers all the way throughout the charger. You can start with the charger like I am or you can use the cord first, preference, whatever you prefer. It's basically the same process throughout, not really much of a difference. Now you want to do the glitter and I mean basically just sprinkle it on, there's not really much of a technique to it. Um, you are going to get some glitter on the top and bottom portions where you really don't want glitter, but I'll show you in a little bit how easily that is to remove. Now with the cord, you want to be just a little more careful where you're putting the Mod Pod. You don't want to overdo it too much. You don't want it to get on the silver part of it that goes into your phone, but it's basically the same process as the one that goes into the wall is. Once it's completely dried, you want to go ahead and grab your clear nail polish and your brush and start to take off your tape. Once the tape is off, you want to go ahead and lightly use your brush to get off any extra glitter that you have on there. It's pretty easy. It usually comes off pretty good. Sometimes you might have to put a little more pressure on it, but for the most part, it comes off really easily. Now for the clear coat, you want to make sure to put a nice thick layer of clear coat. And I would suggest cleaning it off on your paper towel or a napkin that you have around before dipping it back in the nail polish just so that you don't get glitter inside your clear nail polish. And you can do multiple layers. You can do let this dry and do another layer if you want. Um, it all depends on what kind of glitter you use and how thick it is. But for the most part, one layer of clear nail polish should allow it to stay pretty good. Once it's done, it should look something like this. And I would suggest letting it dry completely overnight just to make sure that the glitter stays. But I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.